channel welcome back to another five minute craft video hopefully it is one i'm not sure if i do it by myself it only takes me five minutes but you know how it is if you show stuff so i wanted to show you how to decorate the chipboard black letters i made in my other video i will put a link right there if you didn't watch it it's very very easy really it looks like it's not maybe to me at the beginning it would look like i can't make it but you can all you need is your chipboard letter that um you made hopefully <laughs> and i will use some gesso but not really need it you can just use paint which i will use too you can just put paint straight on there i did no gesso here i did gesso here so you know it does not have to be then i will use some mod podge not need it you can mix yourself glue with water i have a mix here too but on top of it is some glitter that i you know spilled but that's just a mix of normal school glue actually this one even though they say you can't use it you actually can to make your own mod podge two um, parts of glue one part of water and that's what i got and i did use it to make my mixed media piece this is completely made with the school glue mixed with water and it's wonderful there is nothing wrong with that okay then you will need the lower part of a napkin you know the white one that you always rip off guess who keeps it <laughs> me <laughs> yes <laughs> so there i did rip it into smaller pieces so they kind of fit you know onto my letter i will make some embellishment with glossy accents i will use a punch i think for this part because it's just perfect for the swirly things you don't need that use any dye you want i did make this this was not like a corner dye i just looked through all of my dyes and i found one that had something with a corner in it and i just die cut it the little piece of that you know, you can use any swirlies, you can use anything you want. If you ha don't have a um, die cutting machine, you can cut yourself a swirly with your hand. It's perfect. I have a marker, any marker will do just to make it brown or use brown paper right away. I have a brush, of course, for my Mod Podge and my paint. And I believe that's it. I know it sounds like a lot. It really is not. It's easy <laughs> it's easy peasy so now what do i want to do i want to start out with the gesso here i will just do it to show you um how long it takes if you want to use all of it you know because i'm using packaging i just want it to be kind of primed i guess i'm not sure how to explain it gesso does not really paint your stuff really good but it's a primer. If you have a heating tool, um, you know, to dry stuff, that would be perfect, of course. And here, I will just use it on the sides. And that's why it does not matter for my project if you can see the layers or not. Because there will be paint on top. So I'm going to go all around my letter and put paint on top. Because I have just a thin layer of gesso on there, it dries right away. I will put it aside. I washed out my brush so I can actually use the Mod Podge. My daughter got me such a big bottle, even though I didn't ask for it. But thank you, <laughs> you know. And I will put some onto my letter. I tend to not to get too much because it dries way longer if you just, you know, put a huge blob on there for no reason, right? Because the napkin is really thin. You don't need much. Okay, so I will brush it right on top carefully. And I do want to have wrinkles. I like the wrinkles. I want the wrinkles, right? So all the leftovers on the side, I want them all to be folded to the inside so I get more wrinkles. That's my goal, you know. You will see why. Okay. 
just like that. Just fold them all over. It's easy peasy. <laughs> because it's decoupage, you really don't have to be exact <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> and you do the same thing on top of the letter. Just use another piece of napkin. As you can see, I just rip myself smaller pieces so I can work better because I know I will have to fold them over. It works better when I rip them into the size I want them to be kind of. So, but I want to make sure that I fold it all over into the middle. Okay, this one is done. Now I have another one left and I have a little piece right here. So as you can see, it's easy, but it's messy. And that's why my fingers look like that when I make videos. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> it goes onto your fingers. But if you don't mind, I don't mind at all. Just try to not to use too much. Otherwise you will have to dry it forever. And this way, it's not going to take long. I will be using my heating tool just so, you know, it goes faster. But normally, I'll finish one. I put it aside and until I finish the second one, it's dry. But I'm going to use the heating tool, like I said. Okay, all done. Now, take paint. I only have three, I believe, three or four different paints for 99 cents at Walmart and this was on sale somewhere. So that's all I have and I can make a lot of different things with that. So you don't need like a huge paint thing for that. I do it with my finger. You, oh, that was a little much. You can do it with a brush or whatever, but to me, it's just really easy with my finger. And I feel like it's also a little messier if you do it with your finger. Now this is pretty green, <laughs> so what I'm going to do, because I don't have another color, I just don't. <laughs> I would like to have one, but I don't have one. So I'm going to take some of my gesso a little bit onto my finger and kind of work it into my green to make it less green. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. So there is good. Okay, it's pretty flat, I could say. That's fine. So that's what we get. This green is much better than the what is it called? Lucky clover. So yeah. Now I did not tell you, and we will need that, is some distress ink. I will go around my Letter, you don't have to do that if you are not making the letter look, um, let's say, oldish, I guess. Oh, I never know how to call that. So I'll go all around it. And now I will slightly rub it on top. But really very carefully. Do not press because all I want to get are the little wrinkles that I have made with my napkin. So I don't want the whole thing to turn brown. And I'm using vintage photo. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> I'll show you. So this is what you're gonna get. That's oh, so pretty. <laughs> I think this is really, really pretty. So now I'm going to take any piece of paper, any color of paper, you know, you can, I'm always grabbing into my trash. <laughs> I have to say, because there is only paper and there are the paper leftovers I toss and then realize, hey, I could use a little piece of paper, you know? And here you have three. They are made actually for the letters. This looks like that. I got it on sale at Tuesday morning, I believe. So, you know, you can have three different toppers and decorate your letters with that. But I want these because I want it to go this way. And the other one, I would like to go this way. It's my decoration, right? So because it's white, you can do it with um, dark brown paper, you know? 
but I'm just too lazy to pull any or I also feel like if you do it with a marker it gives it kind of a different color I don't know maybe it's just me so I'll just put some marker on top <laughs> looks like that you have to put it down now find the position you like you know here it's very easy to find so I'm just going to glue it down on top and I apologize if this is two minutes longer or three minutes longer than a five minute craft but also I'm talking and explaining stuff I think that's should be counted too <laughs> okay I want it to be a little bit more up there you know, just like that and do I want this to go there or here I think I want this to go right down up there because I do want to put a little bling there too and I'm using art glitter glue for that. I know that it's going to hold up. I had have made a couple letters with that. So, you know, I'm trusting here. Just like that. Now it looks like nothing and I want it to look like something. I did the same thing here. You see, it's different. So I'm going to put glossy accent on top. Let's see. I'll probably have to push a needle through it first. Yeah. So some glossy accent. Mine is almost empty. I'm almost out of everything. You know, I have lots of craft supplies. Of course, I'm not out of paper and dyes and stuff like that. But things I need to glue like double-sided tape my glossy accent <laughs> everything is gone because i haven't been to a store in month and month and month so that's what you do and you just let it dry and because i want it to look a little prettier i will choose a bling for the bottom okay so i got this one a while ago from a friend and I'm thinking I'm going to use these. I, I have never seen these. I don't know what it is. But I think I want to put some right here on the bottom. I don't even know if that's like... If it's a sticker. Yeah, it is. It is a sticker. Okay, but I'm not going to stick it down just like that. I'm putting our glitter glue on the bottom. Okay, I had to help myself a little bit because they don't come on a string, but it worked pretty good. There is the letter and it's pretty. I like it. Now I'm going to go a little bit around the corners, I think. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to leave it or just make it a little bit like this green color too, but hey, isn't that adorable? I think it's just cool look i just love that this is dry so i can actually show you better i just love the effect you get when you use like your um glossy accent so you can also make a couple layers look at make it look better or thicker or you know more like an embellishment but i think it's cool like that with the glossy accent on top okay i'm going to link a couple things in the description so you can check them out if you want to but actually you should use whatever you have on hand and try to utilize that you know you shouldn't be buying a lot of new stuff for crafts <laughs> look at my fingers oh my god i love it okay i hope you enjoyed it if you did as always give me thumbs up share subscribe and yeah sorry about being a little bit longer but i think i needed that so i see you soon guys bye bye